Welcome back. There is an alarming rise in the number of COVID cases in our country. And just look at the COVID tally. 28th of December, there were 9,195 cases. 29 December, 13,154. 30 December, 16,000. 31st December, 22,000. 1st January, 27,000. 2nd January, it's already 33,750. So it's not rising gradually. It's actually rising quite sharp. And the one advantage or the one good thing that's actually now happening is vaccination for children. The We Day for Children is finally here for teenagers. Now, India opened its vaccination for the first time for children uh, or teenagers between the age of 15 and 18. It's a huge relief for parents and teenagers amidst this Omicron spike. They are being administered the indigenously developed Bharat Biotech's co-vaccin shots and approximately 10 crore children between the age group of 15 and 18 are eligible for vaccination uh, starting today. 8 lakh registrations were recorded on the COVID platform uh, in this age category. And I have Dr. N.K. Arora, member, National Technical Advisory Group on Immunization, joining me on the broadcast. Dr. Arora, welcome on the show. Sir, you know, the fact that Covaxin is being given to children, um, there are some questions being raised about unused stocks of Covaxin uh, being taken back uh, over shelf life extension. Sir, can you, can you clarify that situation for us, please? So, uh, thank you very much, Gaurav, for inviting me. I would like to allay all concerns of parents as well as uh, uh, others that it is not a vaccine uh, which is being given, uh, which is uh, unused kind of vaccine. Absolutely no. See, when the vaccine was initially introduced, the vaccine uh, had the time only about six to nine months. So that is why the initial regulatory allowance for shelf life was nine months. But as time has passed, scientific studies have been done, animal studies have been done for both potency and safety. This, the vaccine efficacy has, uh, vaccine shelf life has been extended to 12 months. This is not the only example. Uh, uh, across the world, other vaccines have also been given similar kind of extension of their shelf life. mRNA vaccines by Pfizer and Moderna also were initially given a shelf life of six months. Now it has been made nine months. The second thing is, so all regulatory processes have been formed. The second is, Covaxin is a time-tested vaccine technology-based uh, uh, vaccine. That means inactivation of the uh, virus and then use it. Such vaccines usually have 18 months to two years of shelf life because the overall time period available for the vaccine manufacturer was not there. So initially, uh, a, a shelf life uh, is okay. given and then as time progresses, evidences keep coming and you keep on extending. So, so do we I expect other vaccines? All the parents that they must get their children vaccinated immediately, particularly in the ongoing slot of uh, Omicron outbreak. Sir, do we expect other vaccines also to come in uh, for, for children? Uh, for example, Zyrus, uh, uh, is it available? Is it likely to be available for children? Uh, uh, and has it been approved for children, sir? So, Zycovd is world's first DNA vaccine. And the global practice is that any vaccine, which new vaccine which comes, should be first used in adults, see what is the on-ground uh, response to that vaccine, both in terms of safety and efficacy, and then you start using it for children. So at the moment, uh, the the number of doses available for Zycovid are also limited. It is just about one crore doses. In so seven states in selected districts, this vaccine is being rolled out. Meticulous uh, uh, program is there to uh, to look after to see how the vaccine is working in terms of safety, any adverse events, plus any breakthrough infection suffering. And once we have a uh, experience of a few months, then this vaccine will be also available for our adolescent young friends. And how soon will we know if the precautionary dose uh, should be the same 
or can it be mixed for those who've got Covishield? Can they take Covaxin or those who've taken COVID, Covaxin? Can they take Covishield, sir? So a formal uh, announcement should be available in next two days or so, uh, because uh, it is uh, uh, we ninety percent of uh, us have received Covishield adults and ten percent adults have received uh, Covaxin, and uh, pros and cons of same dose because this is a precautionary dose. What the purpose of precautionary dose is both in uh, uh, in the frontline workers, health workers, and the second group is those above 60 with comorbidities to further strengthen their protective cover. And uh, this is to be differentiated from booster dosing. And even in this, when the next dose, third dose is given, one has to look at it, the reactogenicities, because some vaccines, when given as a late vaccine a dose or a, as a booster, reactogenicity is very high. And it has been particularly seen with Pfizer also and Moderna. So in view of all this, a comprehensive view is being taken. And in next two days, it will be announced that what will be the nature of precautionary dose uh, uh, for both these categories. Dr. N.K. Arora, as always, many thanks for joining me here on India Today. So the advice to parents, Dr. Arora says, is quickly get vaccinated for children between the age group of 15 and 18.